All right, last episode of the session. I'm ready to get to bed, so let's get this going. If you guys missed last episode, we're starting episode 20 today, but if you missed episode 19, it's gonna be linked in the playlist in the description down below. But you guys may notice an old favorite on the team sitting right now. I do have Rescue the Omastar, who did unfortunately, uh, you know, pass with a few others uh, early on in the series, but uh, pulled him back out because I remembered that we actually have to use Whirlpool inside the Dragon's Den. So, I went ahead and set that up so that I make sure that we won't miss. There are a lot of dogs in this water. Our actual encounter here for fishing was Poochiana. Very interesting. Oh, another dog. Another dog. Um, but yeah, we did end up beating Claire in the last episode, but we did take a loss at the expense of one of our dear friends. If you guys missed it and want to go check it out, like I said, description down below. Uh, we do get here an encounter here, though, in the Dragon's Den. Uh, I have no interest in dealing with battles at the moment. I am just ready to be moving on in this game. Uh, I'm a little worried about confusion um, and fighting type moves. So I'm looking at soul. That is a very scary thing for you to do. Please stop. That did way too much damage. Sir, I am going to need you to stop. Okay, thank you for missing. That was a little bit too close of a call. Granted, all fighting type moves, which if I had known that, I probably would have just stayed in with my guy, whatever his name is, Ramsey. Okay. All right. I guess I'm gonna encounter on the water though. Ooh. I have a Flareon, so I'm gonna run from this and plenty of psychic types. Missed out on the Volbeat. Mmm, darn. I'm just mm, broken up about it. That's awesome. I really love that. Oh, wow. I think I used the wrong moves on each Pokemon. Man, they just want to rub salt in the wound, man. They're trying to tell me, hey, you remember when you lost Bean in the last episode? Well, here's the upgrade. It's not like the upgrade evolves him or anything, but, like, still. I don't think you have to fight anyone at all. Hold on. I just want to check something real quick. Isn't there... Well, there was. Like, I know in the um, original games, you actually just find the Dragon Fang and that's it. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, Asperberry. Dragon Fang. Same thing. I really need to get my glasses adjusted. I'm really tired of them slipping off my nose bridge. No, Lyra. You have nothing of, you know, use to me. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Um. Let's go, friend. Uh, definitely strategy helps you win. Uh, let's go, anyone. 
I'm gonna go knowledge is most important. Uh, let's go both. There we go. Now I can add the badge to the layout as well as a new token to the counter. I think I'm back up to like eight now, so. All right, and I think. Is this guy? No. Nope. All right, I guess I didn't use the right terms or whatever to get the uh, static that he gives you, so. And I'm not really going to come back and probably by the times you guys are seeing this episode i'll probably be done recording the series considering uh, i'm gonna be heading well maybe not because i'm i mean i have victory road Ooh, give me that strong dragon pulse tm man i wish it was actually dragon pulse Petaya Berry! I'm pretty sure I said that right different every- Oh, Damp Mulch? Really? I can have Damp Mulch and Gooey Mulch? And probably another kind of mulch that I can't remember at this point because it's mulch. Alright, let me take this call real quick. Professor Elm, get to the lab. I have a thing for you. But what I want to do is I want to check Claire's TM. Ooh, baby, give me a thunderbolt that no one can learn. <laughs> going to the lab is another annoying thing I'm gonna have to deal with too. There's no quick way to get to the lab. Not unless you can fly. I was about to go and heal again. It is such a reflex to go in there to heal. Alright. Grab back Meta Gross. Pretty sure I top fly to you, didn't I? Yep. And switch him out for right now, because I still haven't used him, so I'm pretty free to do that. I just call it a loophole of the rules at the moment. Because, like, as long as I'm not healing, then there's no real issue with it. The only thing he's missing out on is experience. I have no interest in them just giving me just, like, this column of text. Thank you. And we're flying again. Oh, right, in this one, uh, since I don't have to go to the Whirl Islands, I actually get a pretty free legendary here. And I can actually go grab the Metagross. And I think. I think I get a bell tower encounter as well. I will take. Upon reflection, I'm actually probably gonna end up adding that legendary to my team as well. Oh, I forgot you have to fight them. <laughs> Poop. I really don't wanna fight them. But it's happening. Probably could have prepared more, you know, gotten more, uh... Gotten more, like, items or something, you know, done a little bit more. Oh my goodness, I did nothing. Alright. Guess we're doing it like this. Why, 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 why are you hurting yourself? Just use the move that I tell you to use and not hit yourself in the face. 
There we go. There you go. Good job, buddy. Why are you... Man. I really need a better, like, physical move for him if I'm gonna leave him with sword stance. I'm telling you, man. Uh, I don't really see this thing doing anything to me. Yep. I really should have led with Soul having you turn and all. Uh, that's pretty free. Let's go ahead and do the heal. I don't need a ton at the moment. Like, I could take it out, but the healing's gonna matter more. So I'm gonna have to fight this next one, and I think one more? But I'm not 100%. Okay, nice miss. Good job. Really helpful whenever you miss. Um, I don't think I'm quite at full restore need yet, but I'm pretty close to it. Like, if this thing charges... Alright, really, uh, really pushing me here. Jeez, Ramsey. Really pushing it to a limit. Oh man, you're my best one to attack this thing with. going Brandon. I mean, there is a chance that Snorlax only has normal type moves, but I'm also not going to weigh on that. Why is Surf doing nothing? Man, dude. I think you already go first, though. Well, not anymore. There we go. All right. <laughs> that green dude. Pro layup. Kind of wish the shiny was reflected, if I'm being real, though, with you. I'm definitely close enough to uh, Goldenrod to head back there and get some potions. I feel like um, luck down there, you know, our luck bear needs so little experience to be on par with the rest of the team. Like, I almost don't need to experience share him. But it also feels like, like the safer play, which, speaking of that, just on a side note, I want to see if there's any, like, good TMs he can learn. Earthring Thunderfang, don't mind if I do. He has Unburden. Okay. Uh, it's not bad. It wouldn't be bad to, like, give him, like, a barrier or something. Ooh, hold on. Can you learn Force Palm? I'm pretty sure he naturally learns Hammer Arm. <clears throat> oh, I could teach him Strength. That wouldn't be bad. Uh, can you learn Ice Shard? Nope. No Hammer Arm. Uh, probably not Knock Off. Maybe Double Kick? Not bad. What about... Can you encounter? No. I'll go ahead and give you double kick. I'm trying to decide though if I want to leave Slash on him. Because like, strength isn't a bad move. Like, it's 80 power consistently. I think Slash is 70, but like, you know, increased crit chance. Reliability or chance? 
Slash has more PP. That's what we're going to play it on right now. Plus, I can always give him strength if, like, absolutely necessary. There we go. No, though, him with, like, Thunderfang, though, like, that's a nice, like, water-type answer right now. Which I am kind of struggling with since Breloom doesn't have a Grass-type move yet. Which I feel like I complain about, like, in almost every episode. Like, man, I wish I could use my Grass-type to fight this water-type. But instead, I'm just sitting here, you know, just twiddling my thumbs. Oh, boy. Alright. Might as well just go in the elevator. I just need to go to the top floor. Alright. Let's get me some drinks. Give me some fresh waters, you know? Fresh waters are good for those outside of battle healing items. Low cost, they're only like the cost of a potion. And yet they heal like two and a half times what a potion does. Pretty good. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I, I'm not really keeping track of how many I've got right now, but I've got a good amount of money, so I'm not too worried about anything. I know, like, pretty early on in the series, like, I was pretty worried about having enough money for balls, but, like, I always forget it doesn't, like, save on the one that you just bought. It, like, pops back up to fresh water. It's like, no, 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 that's not what I said. Although I will say I'm getting pretty close to, uh, like, hyper potion territory, where, like, I really should just buy some hyper potions instead of getting, like, the lemonades and the soda pops. But, like, you know, this stuff's done me good for, like, so long, so it's kind of hard to, like, jump over to something else whenever I know what's working for me. All right, let's get some nice lemonades. Still cheaper than super potions. You know, 20 more. Like, half the price of a super potion. It's so crazy that they put this here. Like, if your Pokemon could use these in battle, which I don't know why they can't in reality, is all they have to do is screw off a cap, you know? And most of them can, like, bite through steel or whatever. Pretty sure they could bite through a bottle. Alright, how are we looking? How are we looking on supplies? 8, 8, 13. Pretty good. I'm going to use the, uh, you know, the little guys here. Heal us up a little bit. Maybe use a nice lava cookie. Shake the entire desk, you know, how we do. That is kind of how I do, though. What can I say? I just enjoy, you know, shaking things up, you know? It always sounds like a good joke in my head, but it, it's not. It's not. But I'm going to keep saying them because I enjoy saying them. Like, I know what's going on in my brain most of the time. Uh, this man always like it, but I know what's going on in there, kind of, sort of. You know, I really want to say, like, it really depends on, like, what kind of legendary I get, but, like, if it's... If it's something, like, wild, then, like, am I gonna sub out someone on the team for it? I mean, it's level, like, 45, you know? Sick. One of the, uh, the, uh, the legendary dogs that Rums is, um, is an Entei. Nice. I really hope that's not speaking for this one, too. Can I go is this way? Really, all you need is the gym badge to go on? I feel like there's, like, hidden grottos out here. Oh good, it came out and shined just for me. Is there Pokemon in here? I can't even remember anymore. I feel like there is. No, well, it says I don't have it, so I guess I don't have it. Wish I had it. Yeah, let me, oh, let me throw my Master Ball at this Sentry real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Can you even imagine, though? 
Um, there's someone who asked on a previous episode for a name, and I'm kind of just now getting to it, like right at the end of the series. So, hope they're still watching. I'm going to attempt to find it real quick here. Just give me like a couple seconds. Been very active recently in commenting on uh, people's videos, so there's a lot of like notifications. Give me a little bit of time. Um, I'm getting close. Here we go. There it is. I'm name it after Tavin Curry. My name is Tavin. I guess it's a little bit uh, unfortunate that I got to this name uh, so late, and also the fact that it's eccentric. So, uh, Tavin, thank you for your support that you did give, though. I do appreciate that. I don't think I don't, just because uh, you happen to get named after a Sentra. It's just that that's the Pokemon I happen to land on, you know? If it was anything um, else, then you still would have got it. I kind of want that item. And that one, too, though. I want to see if I get, like, another Master Ball or something. Okay, okay. We're really trying to make sure everything can evolve before I uh, go to any gems or anything. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yep, mm hmm, mm hmm. Jump some more. And we get. That would have been a pretty sick encounter. But, um, you know. I can't believe. In the legendary part of the game, you're fighting level 24s. This game really is like such a mess of with their level scaling. I don't really get why though, like... Uh, you, you just fought like a level 40 to get here. At least make them like in their 30s. It just, it does not make any sense at all. I feel like they just think you're out here soloing with your starter. So they're like, no, I mean, who, who cares, you know? Like, obviously you're gonna make all your Pokemon, like, just completely terrible and... It's fine. <laughs> oh boy, last video in the session. I'm really feeling it. But it's gonna be worthwhile. Really, same spot. Man, these Abomasnows really like to congregate right here. Like, you're just jumping into... There, big old fluffy embrace. Like you guys know the uh, the old uh, Rudolph uh, claymation. They're just like, yep. Uh, I'm just gonna hop on this guy and I'm gonna fall down a mountain because a uh, bumbles bounce. Some I, I know the phrase is something like that. Something just completely nonsensical so they can make sure all the characters live through the movie. I don't know, man. I don't know. Ooh, armor fossil. That is a free encounter token. Um, I don't know if I'm really going to use it, though. I don't really need it. Nice, nice. Another evolution. <sighs> don't fight, guys. You're brothers. Did I actually not run away from something 14 levels lower than me? Kinda wild. Oh boy, here we go. Yep, I I love hopping. Hopping is my hobby. Hopping is my hobby. I hop all day. I hop all night. Because hopping is my hobby. I mean, it's too, too sleepy, too sleepy. It's alright, it's alright. I'm gonna nail down this legendary real quick, real quick like. And then we're just gonna... All night. Yep. 
And man, sometimes you gotta go up to go down, you know? And sometimes you gotta go down to go up. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I just did. I went down to go up, but up to go down. I don't even make sense to myself. That's how I am. How confusing I am. I gotta sneeze. Feel it. Building. It's almost one in the morning, and that we're just, you know, young them, and we're just still going. So often I know what words I want to say, and they just don't come out. Well, you actually had to go this way. I, I figured there was like an, uh, another way to go back, and it just was going to be there, and it wasn't. So, I'm here. Hopping is my hobby. Hopping is my hobby. Hopping is my hobby. Hopping is my hobby. And avoiding Obama snows. Hopping is my hobby. I'm feeling it, dude. All right, all right. What is the legendary gonna be? I'm feeling some fourth gen action. I'm feeling the Cresselia action. That's my bet on what the legendary is, Cresselia. If I get it right, everyone watching this at this point owes me $100. And if I get it wrong, and if you watch through this whole episode and can tell me that, then I will do something amazing. <laughs> Teleporters! Sure, it's this one I gotta go. Where does this one take me? Alright, I'll take the free item. Where's my master ball, dude? You're supposed to get like all the items, not just three experience shares. Come on, man. You're just like teasing me out here. There's like three really good items. Master Ball, Lucky Egg, Experience Share. And I'm just like, Experience Share, Experience Share, Experience Share. I know one of them I technically got from Mr. Pokemon, but still. My point still stands. I got a lot of experience shares. Dang it. I thought I was being all clever. I'm like, mm hmm, you're trying to trick me. You got me. Um, you got me again. Man, I think, I think, I think, uh, these game designers who did this were just like, they're, they're too big brain for me, man. I can tell because, like, I'm, I'm still going the wrong way, but I'm also going the right way because I'm getting the items, you know? Big brain. Big brain. I'm getting the gamer lean at this point because like it's I, I'm here I'm like I'm still here but I'm worn Ooh. incense I need I actually really want to try some incense like my my friend used to like uh, burn them all the time and uh, I just I haven't seen Burnham in a while, you know? <laughs> That's the second iron plate in the same building. What is happening? I think I'm getting close. This legendary is going to be super anticlimactic because it's just going to be like, wow! Master Ball. I have no interest in prolonging it. Pretty sure you're supposed to go in the far one, aren't you? Maybe not. Okay. Oh, let's go. 
I'm gonna save in case anything goes wrong so I don't have to go back through that tower again. Alright, let's watch. I didn't even know this woman had a name, Zuki. I'm just letting the game take over right now. I let the game take over and it did this to me. <laughs> Apparently I was very right to uh, save. Um, I can't believe I would do this, but I need to save right now and I need to quickly restart the game. Make sure that it's not gonna glitch out as soon as I go into this battle. This is very funny though. <laughs> Like, hey, do you want the worst time possible for the game to glitch out? Got you covered, bro. <sighs> Thank you, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. There you go, you got to see Ho-Ho right there on the title screen. <laughs> okay, still doing it. Um, fully close down the emulator. There we go. Oh, you look great. Hello. All right, let's listen. Is that Shaman's Cry? Um... Bye, guys.